And I want y'all to then take that same fucking image and put that on the news. If the news said, and you didn't, you didn't talk to your dog or nothing like that. If the news said that your, I'm talking, your day one nigga killed his daughter, killed his son. Would you believe it? Because it's on the news, would you believe it? And that right there lets it be known how well they've programmed niggas. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Are You Fucking Serious? At this point, this is the only thing that we can ask. The only question that we can ask is Are You Fucking Serious? They up in the ante, man. They are up in this motherfucking ante. And it's not about what the fuck happens to her and shit like that. It's not about that because the damage has been done. And this, and this, I think this is the crucial point of any case like this one. What happens after you're dead? As if that's the important part. We put so much, um, what is that, um, we put so much weight on this portion of the process as if this is what fucking matters. And I guess that's what's weird to me. Because I would think that the important part of this process is for it not to happen. The same method and the same tactic I have with the rappers is the tactic I have with civilians. I don't want to be... I don't want to have to retaliate. I want to be proactive in what is going on. In this situation, how can we be proactive so that this doesn't happen again? And it seems as if just as soon as we get a hold on not being killed in the street a certain way, something else pops up. Like, for instance... Someone, I think it was Leonard, uh, shot to Leonard of AO Nation. He sent me um, the story of one of the corrupt cops uh, pleads out and lets it be known. So he told on other officers because he got in trouble or some shit like that. He says, I think it was in Baltimore, D.C., Chicago, one of these areas, probably all of them. Because all of them do the same shit. The police officers not only turn off their body cam, but they ride around with toy guns to where if they have a bad shoot, they can throw that down. So now you can justify a bad shoot. There is no, there's no such thing as a bad shoot. And the first thing that came to my mind was, how long have they been doing this? Just like technology being 40 years ahead of what we have, by the time you hear about the methods and the tactics that the um, strike team, task force, DEA agents, by the time that comes out on Drugs Inc. or any other fucking police show that you might think of, they're not using that shit no more. This is the reason why they don't, they don't mind disclosing what it is they used to do. But they don't tell you that they only used to do this. They don't tell you that 
uh, the first 48 is in, uh, they wouldn't say, like they said the first 48 was in Mobile. I never saw this shit. It might have came up. I don't know. They only let you know what the fuck is going on after because, see, they're proactive. They're proactive. Before they shoot somebody, they going to have replica guns on them. They ready for it. But us, we can only be reactive. We can only react to what it is that happens, which means that most of the time you see mothers, family members. That's when you get folks like Stefan, whatever the fuck his last name is, who come out and make a spectacle of the whole situation. And that brings me to a whole nother point that I wanted to bring up. My question here is, can you imagine what this whole process, seeing that it took three days for this bitch to get locked up for killing a nigga in his house. It took three days for a white hoe to get arrested for killing a nigga in his house. A law-abiding citizen. In the way that they're trying to, they're really, every time they tell you this story, they tell you what the fuck she said. They tell you what the fuck she said as if it's, you have to watch these news broadcasters because they're bringing you this shit as if what the fuck, it, it's all about, you know what I'm saying, perception, they understand that. The way that you perceive this story is everything. Because right now, the jurors, whether they know it or not, are watching this whole thing because it's going to be somebody from Dallas. This is the way the law works. You're, um... Amongst you will be judged by a jury of your peers, unless they ask for an out of town, um, out of town hearing. And even then, this is national news. I'm in Alabama, and this is the first thing on my motherfucking news feed. The jurors are watching this shit right now. Why in the fuck do they keep repeating the fact that this whole Mistakenly, mistakenly, mistakenly. She mistaked it. She mistaked it. She mistaked it. They're showing her pacing back and forth, calling the police. That's gonna have a lot to do with it. And it don't matter how well. I just had a thought. I think they plant jurors. Sometimes I get on this motherfucker and thoughts just come. Y'all listen to this. I think they plant jurors. You know how... You know how... Because it's not hard. It's not... Listen, listen, listen. This, this shit right here is going to depend on the jurors. Justice depends on jurors. Justice depends on jurors. The jurors don't know it, but they're watching this situation right now. They haven't been picked yet, but they're watching this shit right now. They're being indoctrinated with the story. I want to go a step further and say a juror is being planted. You would have to know something about the judicial system, system to understand what it is I'm talking about. What I'm saying is... um. What happens is your defense and the prosecutor, you pick your jurors, whatever like that. So let's say 30 people or whatever like that, 50, whatever. How many people come in, the first juror, you ask them a question like, hey, what kind of music do you listen to? If they say rap, the prosecution might say, okay, I want him. But the defense of the white hope might say, oh, no. And because they, they might ask that question, like, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, no, I, I don't want that one. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're, they're picking their people. I want you to first understand the power of the government. I want I need you to first understand uh, MK Ultra. I need for you, if you don't understand the words that I'm saying right now, I need for you to go and research it. I'm going to say MK Ultra. Even though I understand that a motherfucker doesn't have to be under mind control to do this. To do what it is I'm talking about, you don't have to be under mind control. You only just have to 
believe in your government. If your government sends you down to Dallas and they throw you in a jury pool and then you're getting asked questions, you're going to know because you've been trained for this. You're going to know what to say. And let's say they put five, five motherfucking sleepers, the government does, puts five sleepers inside of the jury pool to where all they need to do is get in one person because you have to get a unanimous decision in order to be banned. If one motherfucker does not go, hung juror, case is missed. You win. You have to know something about the, the judicial system to understand what it is I'm saying. But I'm saying it wouldn't be that hard to disrupt a whole motherfucking... And you can get a appeal and all that shit like that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But understand something else. I'm going to say something right here. I believe that if it was that type of situation, it wouldn't have made national news. There are stories, understand what I just said. I'm telling you that if it was a case big enough to where the government, let's say one of their sleepers got arrested or something like that, like a um, um, high value target, you know what I'm saying? gets in some shit, whatever like that, and he can't be in no shit, first of all, I think that motherfucker be busted out of jail anyway. This this shit that I'm talking about right now may be outdated. But I just want to put it in your mind. I'm throwing cases in situations daily. This a fucked up situation. Fucked up situation in the judicial system. But they don't make primetime news like this did. There are a lot of fucked up situations that you've never fucking heard of. And I have to believe that if the government was going to send a sleeper, unless they can't help it, unless they can't help it, if they were going to send a sleeper, the case will be swept under the rules because all of the news, I'm going to say something to you, all of the news media people, all of the news outlets and shit like that, they work for the fucking government, period. The same way on YouTube, same way on YouTube right here. If I if I can't get no goddamn money, if if YouTube deems my videos unsuitable, that's, that's what they say all the time. Your video is not suitable for advertisers, so I can't get paid off the video. And that's simple as me cussing on the video. If I'm not going in a direction. That is conducive. That runs parallel to what it is they want. YouTube. Whoever the fuck YouTube is. Then I make no money off my video. And I say, that's fine. Because I have people. I have real people. Like I'm not a a, a, a blogger. You know what I'm saying? I'm somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'm somebody. This isn't just, I'm not just, I'm not just saying gang and all that bullshit like that. Like AO Nation is a real thing. People actually donate. People actually show love. This is why I can sell merchandise. I'm not just a blogger. I don't just give you the news. I try my best to give you solutions with your life. This is why it's hard sometimes to cover Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. That's a whole fight. That's not going to help you stop smoking weed so you can reach your potential. All news media outlets whatever your Fox 10 Fox 5 W E R D W E A R fucking 3 whatever the fuck it is these motherfuckers get a script I want you to go online once again and research the relationship between the government and news agencies this is from the beginning of time they understood this this is a good example of it would be um, in the civil rights movement. If the media didn't cover niggas getting shot down by hoses and getting dogs attacked on them, and niggas understood this, this is why they did all that shit. Because then they um, they gained sympathy from 
you know what I'm saying, people up north in D.C. and shit like that, like, what the fuck is wrong with these fucking people? They show the hate. They show the evil. It's the same shit here. The government understands this is the whole base of 9-11 or any terrorist attack. Terrorists. Foreign terrorists. You need the support of your country. If you don't have the support of your country, you then look like a Stalin, a Hitler, whatever like that. Like you just running shit. Fuck the people. And in America, we like to keep the pretty dainty image of being for the people, by the people. We're doing it because you want it to be done. You believe in every war we go to. This is why you enlist. This is why we don't have to force you to come into the military like other people. Because you believe in the wars. No matter how fucking convoluted. Our motives. So this is why the media throws me off. And I have to wonder why in the fuck did this one get broadcasted. With all of these other stories. Uh, um, the story I put up about the girl getting home. People told me if that was real, it would have been on the news. When I put it on my social media, a motherfucker put up World Star as if that was verification that it was fake because World Star said girl get girl getting hung is fake. Staged, whatever the fuck it said, whatever like that. Because they said it, it's real. As if these motherfuckers don't got their hand in the pocket. You don't think World Star worked directly for the motherfucking government? Research another time. Let's do it again. Cointel Pro. That worked from infiltrators, powerful people. Like any, there's no fucking investigation without a fucking informant. There is no motherfucking case within niggas, within an organization, without informants. However that informant has to gain the trust of the people, that's, just what, that's collateral damage. Meaning, if uh, a uh, FBI agent wants to get into the Hells Angels, and the Hells Angels, um, their policy is you have to kill and hang a nigga, or uh, knock out and hang a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Before you actually get into the Hells Angels, the government will allow that FBI agent to break the law in order to uphold it. Confusing? A little bit? This is the reason why I have a hard time speaking about certain situations because I understand, shout out to the governor, I understand how deep that it might go because of thing, the things that I research. So, when you tell me that Worldstar, a platform that has done nothing, as I said in the last video, motherfuckers don't holler Worldstar when a motherfucker is graduating. Motherfucker don't holler world star when a motherfucker helps an old lady cross the road. When they holler world star, that means it's going down on a motherfucker. Period. Hollering world star is not a good thing. If a nigga holler world star behind you and he coming your way, you might need to do something to that nigga before he do it to you. So why do you tell me a platform that has done as as much or more negative towards the black community uh, as the uh, Fox News pundits or the Ku Klux Klan. You tell me if they say it, then it's all love. Why the fuck can't Worldstar be um, a, a member of the fucking, you know what I'm saying, FBI? Why can't they? Like niggas, niggas coming at Vlad and shit like that. At niggas who show their face and come out in the open, but nobody go at Worldstar. Like, ain't this what a motherfucker's Go to? Like, ain't this what motherfuckers try to get their music to? Do motherfuckers use music videos in cases? Do 
Do you think Worldstar gets backing from the motherfucking government? Do you think Worldstar, the people from Worldstar are on that goddamn golf course? Oh, no, nah, hell no, nah, they, they, they too much for the niggas. It's Worldstar for the niggas. Okay, so don't put that shit up telling me that's the motherfucking defining factor on whether or not this shit is real or not. And don't come around telling me that it's easy to know if this shit is real or not because it's fucking not. This is why motherfuckers go back and forth trying to understand what the fuck going on because you understand you can't believe a 50%, fuck that, 30% of what you see and none of what you got them here. And since now they, they didn't caught on to that shit, i.e. the moon landing, it might be none of what you see and none of what you goddamn hear. That's why you have to have some type of spiritual guidance to understand what's what. This is why people leave the motherfucking grid. Because it's too goddamn much. It's too much. You don't know who's on your side and who the fuck ain't. But I know goddamn well if a motherfucking name don't mean shit but violence and niggas dying and being fucked up, I'm not riding with it. You a fuck what they say about a goddamn situation? The same way I wouldn't give a fuck if the news said that my dog had did something that I know that my dog would not do. How about you? If Worldstar confirmed the fact that your dog was a rapist, that your dog killed uh, his child. That your nigga did something that you know your nigga wouldn't do. Is it still world star? How did these motherfuckers get this much? How do they go on to that much respect from y'all? And I want y'all to then take that same fucking image and put that on the news. If the news said, and you didn't, you ain't talk to your dog or nothing like that, if the news said that your, I'm talking, your day one nigga killed his daughter, killed his son, would you believe it? Because it's on the news, would you believe it? And that right there lets it be known how well they programmed niggas. Because these motherfucking white boys and girls, instead of being on their phone all goddamn day looking for niggas and bitches, these motherfuckers on their phone trying to find out how to take apart a M4 carbon. How to make a dirty IED. How to disarm a um, live hand grenade. And you searching about when the J's dropping. What kind of sale they got going on. This is what you use your data for. And as long as that continues, as long as niggas aren't actually seeking knowledge in, in, in the, in, by the mass, by, like by the numbers, if, as long as it's only 5% of niggas who actually seek knowledge and research, they're fine with that. But just as soon as you niggas can hear what the fuck it is I'm saying... And you understand that this war that's being fought is, is not just on one plane. It's not just mental warfare. It's not just physical warfare. It's not just spiritual warfare. This is full-blown war. And it's not a solid one anymore because niggas getting killed in their fucking house now. As I said on my last video, the worst... Casualty to take in war is that casualty of friendly fire. And we lose about five of our soldiers on this side. I don't give a fuck what set you in, my nigga. If you on this side of the goddamn border, the corrupt and racist police is on that side. The Ku Klux Klan and every... Aryan um, white supremacists, all of your detractors are on this side, and they have every job that you can name record exec, food distributor, 
pharmaceutical, you are, everybody that's on the golf course. But they got more, their, their, their front soldiers are the motherfucking racist police. Everybody on that side. And we as black men, the black women in front of us, they holding up the signs and shit like that, but they're not getting hit. And the reason why a lot of us are getting hit is because we're looking this goddamn way. Or this way. When our enemy is right here. Every night, we lose at least five. I'm giving a very generous number. We lose at least five of our soldiers on this side. And we lose them to friendly fucking fire. This casualty here was supposed to happen. We are at war. The racist white supremacist police officers are trying to kill us. We've seen this before. There's no more question whether or not they want to kill us. That's already been confirmed. Yet and still, so when you get hit in the head, when you get hit in the head from out of nowhere, you don't understand where the fuck it came from. But see, your life is over. Now we all come over here and we looking at you. And we still taking our eyes off of our enemy. In war, what they taught me to do in the military was when you breach a building, you stack up on the wall, stack up on the wall, you got one man, the point man in front, second man, third man, the tail. With the tail, first, the first man does this, lean back, second man, lean back. Third man lean back. The fourth man lean forward. Third man lean forward. Second man lean forward. And the point man kicks the door. As the second man, if the point man is shot, you are to step over him, engage hostile targets, neutralize them, and then give medical aid. You don't see the point man get shot like, oh, what the fuck, man? What's going on? What the fuck, man? Oh shit, he both tripping dog. Oh no, man, what's going on? It's war. They were supposed to do that. And the, the sooner, the sooner we understand that this is war. And and please, to those who hear what I'm saying and you can't hear what the fuck I'm saying, I want you to remember who's dying in this war. Who's killing them? What I'm talking about now is something that these motherfuckers did. Don't you dare address me as if I'm sending niggas and putting niggas in this type of mindset. That was done by your racist police officers. This bitch knew him. She has pictures with him. I don't give a fuck if they were fuck. I don't give a fuck what the fuck it was. This bitch killed him. And if this nigga had a criminal record... She, that, that, they, y'all would have let her ride no charges. Right now, the bitches, she didn't, if a nigga, black police officers, please let me know. If you get arrested, if you get arrested, do you not lose your job that very fucking minute? If you get arrested, if you're off fucking duty and you get arrested, are you not fired at that very fucking moment? This bitch right now. It's on bond and getting administrative fucking leave. We got to find out what's going on. A black police officer beat up a nigga on the street. Fired. This bitch killed a nigga in his house. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Back to the jurors. Back to the future. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. The future jurors are hearing. Um, mistake. 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 One juror is all it takes. Mistrial. But what I'm saying is, 
you can break up what I'm saying, however you want to do it. Uh, uh, niggas trying to wage war on the police officers, but I, I, you, them words, y'all got action. Nigga got example after example after example. This whole Nike shit with Kaepernick was for this. How long ago was that? So this shit been going on for that fucking long. Please. Miss me with the radical black man shit. Uh, the black man's angry. That's all the fuck they want. They want us, as Tariq Nasheed says, they want us to be killed in peace. They want us to die with honor. You know what I'm saying? Serve. With a smile on your face. Yes, sir, boss. I sure wish I could sweep this floor faster for you, sir. Yes, sir. Want me to dance for you, sir? Ah, look at me, sir. I sure will. Ah. Understand that. Understand that. They want us to be killed in silence. Say it was some, a pepper spray, a pepper ball sprayed into the crowd. What I'm saying is, hold on. What I'm simply saying is, if we could, let's take our attention off of your fellow soldier in front of you and look at our enemy. Focus on them, watch their moves, not attack, but be vigilant, be aware that they are your enemy. And because a racist police officer, and this is your fault, police station, police department, because the eyes can't truly see because you who the fuck is training who's not. A motherfucker can't look at a motherfucker energy. So because you don't know exactly what a racist police officer look like, because you look at this bitch right here, you look at George Zimmerman, you look at any of these motherfucking cracked ass racist motherfuckers that have killed niggas and laughed about it, these motherfuckers, look, look at any serial killer. These motherfuckers look like regular white people. Which is funny, because they don't get stereotyped. You say you can't judge them all. But as a street nigga with tattoos, and your pants sagging, you get profiled immediately. Without an issue. But what the fuck does a racist police officer look like?